the thing about these rhythms, man, like playing these different rhythms, each they're each kind of their own style of music. Every rhythm has a, a you know a vocabulary of stuff that goes along with it. How to kind of play fills and sort of how to feel it. Um, and they really are their own style. When people are asked, you know, when a musician or a singer is asked what songs, uh, you know, to, to perform for somebody or what songs do you know, oftentimes uh, he'll be asked, what rhythms do you play? What rhythms do you play in? In the States, it's not quite like that. You know, we, if you say swing, I mean, the main rhythm from the United States is swing. And but swing swing can also be interpreted a whole lot of different ways. Sometimes you play swing on the hi hat and the ride cymbal with a walking bass line. Sometimes it's the go go thing with a backbeat. Sometimes it's the sloshy New Orleans marching thing. Um, sw swing can be played all types of different ways. But each of, and each of those kind of has their own vocabulary. I mean, just you know, all the different drummers who play swing, everybody has their own their own kind of subdivision and their own breakdown, and you can immediately tell a drummer all the greats. You can tell them, you can tell them by the his uh, ride cymbal beat. Um, but swing, swing, the word itself doesn't really get kicked around as much outside of kind of musician circles. I mean, I don't know. Do non non musicians in America are they familiar with the swing rhythm? People have heard of swing dancing, I guess. People probably probably heard of swing dancing. But as far as swing being a rhythm with its whole own vocabulary, not as much as your typical Sudanese person might know the names of these different rhythms because they just get used more to describe the song because at the end of the day a song is going to have its melody and its rhythm and it won't really change because it's part of the song the rhythm is kind of, I mean I've heard I've heard songs played on different rhythms that also happens a big part of playing the tambura also and learning to play the lyre, uh, since you don't change tunings all that often, you tend to stay in a tuning for a while. A big thing to do is messing around with one tuning and changing the rhythm, figuring out different kind of fingering patterns um, within different rhythmic frameworks. But what I think is really cool about, about uh, the Sudanese thing is that you'll have you have so you have many different many different rhythms when swing is played in New Orleans or in DC or in wherever it gets it, we different styles of music i mean names of styles of music get kind of applied to it and it becomes a thing go, it's go go or it's the second line thing or if you just talk about playing if you just say swing i guess by itself then you tend to think of a ride cymbal and a walking bass line um and then and then if you say funk or jazz i mean jazz doesn't mean anything the word jazz doesn't so many different things get called jazz that but when you say swing then you're in a particular category um but there are other rhythms that you'll find maybe within jazz the term jazz, but I've learned to try and talk about talk about swing, if that's what it is, or the thing is that, that you know, musicians terminology for different rhythms doesn't really doesn't really get outside the musical the music community. I mean, if you talk about, you know, a kind of a straight a straight feel, you talk about a feel or a groove or something. Um, it's hard to describe hard to describe what rhythms sound like. Uh, without getting a little bit technical. Um, but then your average listener, they know musical genres like rock and pop and whatever. And all of the, and all these lines are pretty blurry. Swing is 
is the American rhythm. 